Yo, what is good, everybody? It's your man, Mike P. Just wanted to kind of retouch and, and think about it because it's really been on my mind since last night. Uh, last night on stream, we listened to Eminem's Death of Slim Shady, the Coup de Gras or Tim McGraw, whatever the fuck the album's called. And I was genuinely blown away. Like the people on the stream were pretty blown away. And although I was trying to kind of dodge the internet since Thursday night because I didn't want to see anyone's opinion on it. I did stumble on a few and it seemed to be nothing but positive. So I was kind of excited to get into the album beforehand. And what's wild is because like there's so many full circle moments that happen like before and after. And I kind of want to touch on Houdini at first because when I first heard Houdini, you know, given the material in the albums that Eminem has been putting out for the last few years, or at least the the criticism that he's had since like his peak days, you know, if you want to call it that, I didn't really have that much anticipation for the album because I kind of just expected it to be what it's kind of been lately. Eminem, Eminem has kind of been doing, and I, and I kind of, this is like the best way I could explain it as a, as a rapper. I think there's two different types of, you know, styles of rap. And, and one of them is, is like talent show rap where, you know, you don't really stand behind a lot of things that you're saying and you're not really trying to do anything with much meaning to it as much as you're trying to prove to a ghost community that you're still good at rapping like oh you know instead of doing something with words and i don't know if this makes any sense it's like oh well look at what i could do with words instead of a double entendre it's like oh look at what i can do with that technicality of writing in double entendres look at what i could do with multi-syllabic rhymings look at the way that i can internally rhyme i feel like eminem has been spending so much time trying to prove to a group of people that really don't exist besides the memers on the internet and if we're being real they really don't exist that he could still rap and almost like completely forgetting which is another like full circle thing that he's still that good at rap so when houdini first dropped it was almost like a ugh, like an eye roll kind of moment it's like oh yeah guess who's back like you know you haven't been back oh go oh, he's oh, slim shady well you haven't been slim shady like where is that? So while I always took that one single on each of his albums that was purposely stupid, purposely humorous, and almost like trying to be trash as something positive because I just knew that was going to be the only stupid song on the album, there was like no feelings of like it's going to be better than this. So it just seemed like a poor attempt to, and, and which has seemed like lately, a poor attempt to kind of get this Eminem back that just isn't there anymore. I now look at Houdini completely different after the album. And let's let's talk about the album, man. I mean, there's 21 songs. Uh, I think there's two bonus tracks at the end. There's 19 tracks. I think there's three skits, so there's probably 16 songs. It's just, it's so weird. And, and I said this multiple times on the stream that I was fully aware of who Eminem is. I've been listening to Eminem since I was 10 years old. He dropped Slim Shady LP in 99, and I was 10 years old at that time. So I was listening to him when I was 10. I'm 35 now. So I've been listening to Eminem for 25 years. And um, it, it's like, it was like this weird feeling that I kept getting where it's like, I couldn't, I was so shocked at how good the album was, how great the album was. Cause let's be real, that's one of his best albums. That is one of the best albums I've heard from him in a decade, maybe even more. It was like weird to be surprised, but I wasn't surprised at the same time. Like it's so weird to be aware of how great he was, but forget how great he was. And it was once again, I'm gonna use that term a lot, a full circle moment where Eminem's style lately has almost been like he forgot who he was. Trying to prove that he could still rap is just such a weird notion to wrap my head around when it comes to Eminem because he's proved it time and time again that it's almost like he forgot as well. So it's just, it's wild. It's like fan, both Eminem and his fans kind of just had this realization. Eminem had it before the album that he could still tap into this type of, of rap. And I mean, this the type of rap that he was in was just... An incredible pocket man you know while while i wanted to say it was like oh nostalgia it's the old eminem i honestly thought it was a more modern eminem what i feel like i got the most nostalgia from was him actually standing behind what he says and it's easy to just say that blindly and not know the person somebody could be lying when they speak but there's a certain emphasis in someone's voice and it's not only just like the emphasis it's the material itself 
where it doesn't seem like Eminem, as he's been doing lately, just takes a trending topic or something that cancel culture, you know, will attack you for and like poking fun at it or pretending to actually care about it or make fun of it. He really tackled those issues and was super specific, used experiences in his life and 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 actually was well thought out. I mean, for somebody that's been very filled with filler, there was no filler in this album whatsoever incredible content um the the concept of the album i'm not going to spoil it but the concept of the album was super dope guilty conscience too i mean you don't make sequels out of things like guilty conscious and although i don't think it was better than the one that he had with uh dr dre the concept behind guilty conscious too kind of just brought the album together because like guilty conscious too felt like the final battle between the two m&ms that you were hearing throughout the album and it was honestly beautiful anything that him and Skylar Gray does is just absolutely incredible and obviously as a girl dad it, it hit me in my soul it was it was a beautiful sad thing to hear and then it's just him going right back into the next track like it like it never happened it was such vintage Eminem but back to the whole like feeling of nostalgia the nostalgia came from the meaning behind what he was saying and how much it truly felt like he wanted to speak on these things and not just kind of filling in the blanks because this is the time that he needs to make an album and this is what people are talking about. He really dove into a lot of things and spoke on them very, very well. Another thing that I wanted to point out as far as this album goes is the perfection when it came to the hooks. All of the hooks were extremely fire shout out to white gold white gold had an incredible hook on habits and then there was another track let me actually try to be specific here yeah bad one uh track number 16 on the album which was just incredible jid on fuel is probably feature of the year what's so wild about it is at, at 51 years old eminem which is something that i was poking fun of when i first heard houdini on stream i mean i shit all over it and i and i pulled it i pulled his age up and i like here i am like a huge eminem fan and just kind of just being blindly over him and I was making fun of the fact that he was 51 and you know somebody asked me before where it's like well what is the difference from artists that scale up as they progress that progress as they get older and artists like Eminem that kind of teeter down and one of the answers I gave was like well he's probably just running out of material you know he's rapped so much he's got 14 albums a bunch of features i'm pretty sure he has mixtape features as well and mixtapes as well so it's like maybe he's just running out of bars and for jid to have the feature that he has on fuel and for eminem to murder that track and 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 beat jid's feature is just insane and i mean listen man all these songs were fairly good i think there's a couple like even dude even brand new dance as stupid as it was supposed to be i liked brand new dance i, I really don't uh, maybe Road Rage I wasn't that much of a fan of. Head Honcho I thought was really dope with Easy Mill. And once again, Easy Mill, the wordplay in Eminem's, in this album from Eminem, incredible the 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 the, the medicine cabinet so f so big i could fit a cabinet the 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 easy mill he, he he stretched and and played around with so many different words perfectly one of the best double entendres i heard was um yeah he said he said my mercedes benz is bitter is bigger than your truck by far bitch suck my balls you're either smoking crack or playing stick ball because you must be you must be on base if you think that you could touch my car. CJ John, when you play stickball, if you're playing on like a cul-de-sac or in the middle of the street, sometimes the cars around you can be used as like the base. So like if there's one car on one side of the street and one car on the other, that's first base, that's third base. Second base would be something in the middle of the street. You know what I'm saying? So he's saying my new Benz is better than your truck by far. Bitch, suck my balls. And the double entendre is, you're either smoking crack or playing stickball because you must be on base smoking crack if you think that you could touch my car. You touch cars in stickball. So not only is it a scheme, but it's a double entendre as well. Smoking crack is being on base. Playing stickball is touching a car. So it's a double entendre in the middle of a scheme. 
It's stupid, okay? It's very, very stupid, okay? It's stupid in a good way. In the best way that you could possibly use that word, it is fucking stupid. Unbelievable double entendres that are not forced at all, and that has been the gripe that I've had with Eminem over the last few years, five, six, seven years. It's just been these, these feeble attempts to do what he knows how to do and is one of the best or just first of all this album reminded me that he is the best internal rhymer in the history of rap i, I know a lot of people say tech nine is an extremely good internal rhymer if you don't know what internal rhyming is you have a bar that rhymes at the end like obviously at the end of every line you have a bar that, that you know a word that rhymes but in between each line you're rhyming a completely different set of of words. Eminem is the best at that, hands down, and he reminded me of that quite well. Toby, obviously, with Big Sean and Baby Tron. And once again, with the Houdini thing, it's like, when Houdini first dropped, I was like, oh, God, this album's going to be bad. But then when I heard Toby, I was like, that was actually... That was actually really good from Eminem. And then soon as we get, I mean, dude, Renaissance off rip was like, okay, that's good. Habits incredible and i was like okay this is good but in my head i'm like we still have 17 songs to go you don't you know it could fall off a cliff but dude honestly going through these these tracks and, and listening to the album again there is nothing wrong with any of these songs like i said road rage maybe i was like a little eh about and then brand new dance i would say that i don't like but i actually liked brand new dance it was it was really weird all in all eminem really brought an interesting conversation back to the table where he lost the allure of being uh one of the greatest rappers ever and now at 51 has dropped an album that not only competes with any album that any artist has put out this year but from a material standpoint, from a concept standpoint, to the bars, to the rhyme patterns, to the hooks alone, Eminem seems like nobody can fuck with him once again. And it's been a really long time since you could say that. And it kind of just, for me, technically, when I look at rap from a technical standpoint, he's top three. There are not three rappers on this earth that you could say rap better than Eminem. We're not talking about album sales. We're not talking about hit records. We're not talking about any of that. And if you did, Eminem would have pretty much everybody on that. I'm talking about when the ball is in his hand, what can he do with the ball before he scores? There really is nobody like him. And it's just incredible, once again, full circle moment where it's like, I forgot about it. And, and he reminded me and, and everybody with this album while also kind of reminding himself, you know, if 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 Eminem wasn't conf confident in this album, he would have felt and sounded like he was trying to prove something to people, which once again, I feel like has just been the gist of his latest content. It's just been this weird, like, look what I could do thing as far as, you know, instead of a I can do this, look at what I want to talk about. Listen to what I want to say. I want to talk about this. I want to speak on this. I want to have this dope concept track. I want to do this song for Haley. I want to do this. You know what I'm saying? It's just um, incredible, man. Absolutely incredible. I can't wait to give this album another spin and um, amazing. Just straight up amazing. Hats off. Uh, clap it up for Eminem. He's back in a, in a major way. And it's a beautiful thing to be able to say that in 2024 guys let me know in the comment section uh what you thought about this album if you heard it if not listen to it listen to it for sure if you want to see the vod of me breaking down all the songs as we were listening to it sign up to my patreon patreon.com slash i am mike p support your boy and uh yeah follow like subscribe do what you got to do i'm your i'm your boy i'm your boy man child and um potatoes